Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 86 of Ocean Block. Oh my goodness, it's getting up there. Uh, <laughs> but in today's episode, we're going to take a little sidestep and start in on integrated dynamics because uh, I think that'll help us out with our problem of the dense. Uh, construction blocks. Where did I get an egg? <laughs> okay, so I also, um, I remembered that the block I was thinking about was player simulator. So I think if we get into integrated dynamics, we could start doing uh, this stuff because we need logic directors which we already have a uh, need to get into this to get these logic directors for singularity. So yeah, there it is, this logic director singularity. So we need to do this anyway, and we'll get to play with this, um, <laughs> this thing too. Uh, looks pretty interesting. So um, let's go see what we can do. Okay. Um, let's. Oh, I did. I did some preparing and upgrading of my weapons. Uh, so I did um, a couple of these. I accidentally turned this one in. <laughs> It was, it was an accident. It was an accidental turning in. I just opened it, the book up and clicked it and wasn't even thinking. And then I was like, no! I got like um, a Supremium Furnace. Uh, so it was kind of cool. But I don't know that I'd use it because I've got uh, a redstone furnace that goes really, really fast. <laughs> Or I've got the the mechanism furnace, uh, which has like nine slots, so I don't see how that's gonna beat it. Uh, but I did this Wyvern projectile velocity module. Uh, oh, some more insanium apples. Oh, I need to remember to put those uh, to to have those um, when I do my thing uh, with the. <laughs> with the Gaia Guardian 2.0, we will have words again. <laughs> I just need to do more. No, I hate this. It's like a red herring, you know? Uh, yes, I know it's a storage module, but I can't use it. Where did it go? Oh, see, it wasn't even there. I gotta, I gotta put that away. <laughs> it's, it makes me sad thinking about it because it's it's not even a real prize. I'm, I'll never be able to use it and I keep thinking up on this. Okay, so let's look. I want to go through and eventually make all these cool things. Um, I couldn't figure out the auto feed module. Uh, apparently you, you store hunger in it, but um, I'll, so I'll have to look and see if that's in the manual or something about how to uh, load this up. Because that might be kind of cool, I don't know. Um, when you're in a fight and you're taking lots of damage, it'll automatically feed you. Um, so that would be kind of handy, I think. Um, that way, because a lot of things going on, if, if you're fighting and you're taking a lot of damage, then you need to have your focus on the fight, not on your food, right? Am I right? <laughs> well, I need all the help I can get in that department, so. Um, let's see, we were going to start integrated dynamics, which the only thing I've done with this is the mineral sapling. I don't, I, I very rarely use this mod. I don't, I know nothing about it, so 
it'll be kind of cool to see what's up because apparently this is like um, powerless uh, storage network, uh, kind of like AE, but it doesn't use power. So what could possibly go wrong with that? <laughs> I like the power usage, you know, uh, it's because it's a very powerful thing to have. So, uh, but yes, we have the mineral sapling and we, I've been planning on getting into this mod. Um, I just haven't done it yet. Uh, so let's look. We need to do uh, crystallized mineral. Better get a lot of these. Uh, we need to have four crystallized mineral, which you make in the drying basin or the mechanical drying basin. Um, I say we make the mechanical one because I don't, I'm spoiled <laughs> already. Uh, I have my automations done. Um, uh, I don't want to do anything by hand anymore. So, <laughs> okay, we need the drying basin. Isn't there supposed to be like a squeezer? Um, yeah, the mineral resin. Um, there's a mechanical squeezer. We want that one too. Um, I guess. So we gotta take the logs, squeeze all the mineral out of them, and then put it in a drying basin until it crystallizes. And then we do stuff with that. So that sounds pretty cool. Let's get some mineral. Look, we got almost 10,000. Oh, those things must grow pretty fast. And we got all these mineral berries. Or, or, or I guess just to eat. Oh, it's also used in recipes. Cool. Or you can make nutritional paste. Cool. Um, all right, so we've got to make the squeezer. Oh no, we won't be able to make these off the bat. We'll have to use the regular squeezer uh, in order to get going, in order to make the mechanical squeezer. Oh, this is painful. Uh, so then I guess I'll need a button. I remember that. Uh, you got to use that to reset the squeezer. <sighs> okay, so let's let's go down here. I think I've got some open room over here. I don't know that. These don't need power or anything, so... Maybe we can put it next to it. I think it automatically feeds into there. Um, let's get the button ready. I think if I put it like this... Or... Can you put it on the side of this? Oh. Did you squeeze? Okay. I thought. It's not transferring it.
like these mechanical pipes. Uh, do water, liquid white. Okay, let's put it on this one. And then I gotta get uh, the configurator. There we go. And then that takes a minute to dry it. You reset that and put another log in. Oop. Dude, that went right into my inventory. And you gotta get like in the middle. <laughs> See, this is for the birds. <laughs> I don't want to do manual labor. That's what the machines are for. Awesome, that's the four that we need for the quest. Awesome. Crystallized mineral. You got a flux score. All right, we got that out of the way. It wants us to make some logic cables, the backbone of any good network. 16 logic cables. Okay, we can do that. Um, because we can break those blocks down into chunks. Yeah. And do that. Uh, how many did they want us to make? Was it... 16? Why 16? Why not 15? <laughs> uh, they only make three, so they really need to think of this. So I guess we'll make 18, which we need. Um, uh, five more combines, so we need 30 more crystals. Is that going to be enough? It's just enough. It's like they knew we were going to have to make that exact amount. <laughs> Boom. Okay. And we got some more flux cores. Cool. Um, now we got a lot of things to take in. Uh, a monodirectional connector for long-range networks, portable logic programmer, programming on the go, um, reading blocks. Is that furnace melting or is it my imagination? So logic, crafting interface, item logistics, Fluid logistics and energy logistics. It looks like we might, uh, we might want to start with these. I don't know, but they might be uh, components for these other guys. It looks like these are pretty basic uh, energy, fluid, and items. I don't know, let's see, let's do this, energy interface, energy exporter, energy importer. Um, let's do the energy 
energy interface, I guess. Okay. And then we can do the fluid interface. I don't know. item interface because why not I know nothing about the spawn so <laughs> it makes it means nothing to me uh, I don't know if those are the best ones to make uh, or the most useful but why not okay so we need an item interface which takes a chest and some crystals which we don't have any more crystals so uh, have to make some more of those guys um, since we need uh, we need five for this one five for that one five for this one but we also need an energy battery so we need another six plus blocks. We're gonna need quite a bit. So let's make like eight. Oh, oh no, I didn't, I didn't reset it. Um, <laughs> actually, I don't know if it'd be worth it to try and wait. I was on the pipe. Ah. <laughs> I was trying to click and get the the crystal. Boing boing boing. Boing, boing, boing. Oh, yeah, this is for the birds. <laughs> like, who wants to do this? cute in theory, you know, you get to jump up and down, but woo, I get to jump up and down. <laughs> Aha. Say, why did that come out of my hand? Ah, uh, so that should get us a little bit so I know we need two of those uh, but then we need some of the crystals all right so let's make an item interface because I know we got the chest Woo uh, and then the fluid interface need the bucket I thought I, I thought I had it make the bucket. Did it not work? Oh, I know what's happening. <laughs> Forgot about that. I know what's happening. Okay, um, let's just keep making them until it stays. I'll put it in my inventory. I will show you as soon as we make this, that, and then the energy interface. There we go. Okay, 
Um, down here, I put the cow. So we have a cow now. That's Bessie. Uh, say hi to Bessie, everyone. <laughs> hi, Bessie. Uh, she's uh, our milk cow. So the rancher is collecting her milk and putting it and storing it in this food fluid cell. And we have access to it uh, so we can get some milk if we need it for whatever. Uh, but then it's also being put into this fluid encapsulator and get, getting turned into milk buckets. Uh, so this thing is storing buckets inside of it. So that's why it was, uh, the buckets were getting eaten <laughs> by the fluid encapsulator. Um, so I already had the other part set up that would turn uh, the milk bucket into milk bottles. Uh, so uh, I have it only have it watching the level of the milk. And if there are 16 buckets in the system, then it shuts off. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so it's not just going to sit there and, and milk the cow and fill up my uh, RF or my refined storage system. Uh, so <laughs> What? Uh, it's a storm. I better go. I better go sleep. Otherwise, I'll lose my uh, my dog. Ah. Although it's about to be daytime, so. Oh man! In fact, actually, it stopped because it changed from daytime to nighttime. Okay, well, I'm okay with that. It can be night. All right, so let's get back. Um, I think we got we got a few things to turn in, so we might as well empty our pockets while we're here. Um, so we can take those things out and that. But I still... Uh, want to get these automated so let's see if we can get the mechanical squeezer needs two batteries uh, which we know we can get now but it's gonna take some more mineral for that oh and it takes two energy batteries for that one as well so we need four energy batteries what that's 24 and then 8. So we need at least 11 blocks of, of mineral. Okay, <laughs> but we have 2 and 3 technically. So, we can do that and only have to make eight. Uh, so let's go ahead, oh, we already turned in our rewards, so we can get, uh, the, well, that's right, we got the flux cores. Now that's that's um, actually quite good um, if I were using that. <laughs> but I got frustrated with it and I decided to go with power instead, so. Uh, I'm on the wrong floor. There we go. Just eight more. Ah, oh, I did it again. Just eight more and we can automate this. So if we need any more, um, Uh oh. Okay, it lagged for a second. Ooh. Hooray! <laughs> it's so much fun. It 
it's it's really quite challenging because you have to stand in the exact center of the block and it scooches you off every time so you can't just get the right position once you have to do it every time Let's see this pushy little guy boink 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 Oh no, I forgot to put wood in there. I did that for nothing. reset it because I keep doing the wrong thing. Awesome. Okay, now we should be able to take this guy up. Ah! No, my floor! Um, so let's see. Mechanical squeezer. We gotta get two of these. I just set them uh, on my power and be done with it somewhere. Maybe over here. Mechanical squeezer. Mechanical drying basin. Now I wonder, does this automatically feed into it? Let's just put you in there. Oh, it only gets you three crystals. Um, but you do get the mineral resin as well. But it does, uh, okay, so it doesn't automatically, there are no, like, auto-eject fluid. There we go. Oh, look, we're in the money now. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. I wonder if I should... Is there any other use for the logs? Uh, do I just auto feed them into this or do I need the logs for something else? Um, I do not know. Use them like normal wood to make. 
the chest. Different colored sofas, chairs. You can make chisel bit storage. This looks like regular wood recipes. mineral planks so far. So are the planks used for anything? wondering if there's some integrated dynamics recipes that use it to warrant not just automatically turning it into crystals and stuff. But I'm not seeing anything. You get the mineral door, but in thermal series. That's kind of cool. Don't get distracted, Debbie. Don't, don't look at it. Okay, it doesn't, I don't think there's any reason not to just process it all and get it, uh, get it turned into crystals that we can use. Um, Cause that looks like, oh, it's used in lots of stuff. director has to um, take them as well so we need at least 3,000 um, all the time so we could get it to no nah, I'll just have it turn it all in Let's, how do you get the crystallized coarse junk you gotta squeeze a popped chorus fruit. Okay, um, so we gotta get a chorus fruit plant. We can use it in a botany pot. Oh, uh, we need endstone chorus flower. We need to get that going. Um, so 
Let's get some endstone. Oh, I actually have some. Why is that not getting... Okay, it's getting taken out. I'll say I'm down on the crushed endstone. There was like 10,000 of it earlier. Um, must have... Yes, <laughs> uh, I remember grabbing some in the, one of my forays into the end, and I hope I hadn't uh, lost that part, but um, I do have it, so we can go into the botany garden and get this going. I guess um, that's got... this back in the system. We don't need this pipe anymore or this button. And I can put the configurator up. Okay, so let's get um, an importer. Be to pull everything out. Actually, I think we'll need two importers. Um, an exporter. All right, and then we'll need to get. Okay, so I don't know, uh, there's no way to tell it um, which side, so I don't, do I, do I have to take it out of the bottom or can I just pull it out the side? There we go. So we need to get this importer, maybe it'll go out the back, and we'll put this on the back of that one, and then we just need a cable. And that should be pulling the crystals out. pulling them out here either. It might mean we have, might have to pull them out of the bottom.
Let's get our importers down there. Uh, let's spin them around. Uh, boop and a boop. Uh, awesome. And then we can. Uh, actually, I need to leave one of those open. Aha, there we go. Um, I might need some upgrades for those. Might need some upgrades. So now I can just uh, throw these into the system. I might need some storage for that. Uh, I'll probably like make a, make a storage container for them. Actually, I should probably do that sooner rather than later. I have some spots over here. I just need a couple. I don't have any drawers in here. I have one, two. Oh good, I have the recipe. Nice. Okay, so let's um, let's get our and go back out. Oops. <laughs> Look at it, sorry. It's already getting so much. Um, let's just put it right here. weird. Huh. Okay. Let's get that in there. Forgot about the key. Gotta have the key. I did that on um, the cast iron. <laughs> I used up all the cast iron and uh, the drawer emptied and when it did other things came in like I think it was cinnabar and uh, I was like ah get these things out so it wasn't uh wasn't good but I fixed it uh, I had to go go down there and lock it up again uh, so got 262 in there it's going up oh we got some that's out of it there we go now if we put it back in it should go where it's supposed to go there we go we got it uh the mineral chunks and the blocks of crystallized mineral are completely automated. Uh, I might want to get some upgrades for that. Oh, goody. And, because uh, I'm sure that's going to fill up in no time. There we go. go. Now, uh, I don't know if that's, if, if I should, 
put a uh, detector on that to say, hey, if we get below 2,000 minerals, then it just sh shut down. Um, well, that would be okay, but I think it'll be okay. We got plenty of storage if it accidentally runs over. Uh, so, yeah. And we got those automated. Boop. Let's let's see if this player if we can make this player simulator now or if we have to wait to get some other technologies. Um, so let's get in here. Uh, looks like we need a world item importer, a world item exporter. A world block exporter and a world block importer. Okay, what is this one? It's an item exporter and a logic director. Ooh, that means we, we automatically need the popped chorus fruit. Uh, crystallized chorus chunk is. Okay, so we need to tell it to pop our chorus fruit. Uh, which we do that by sending it through the furnace, I believe. So let's see, have we got any fruit yet? Yeah, we got a little bit. Um, Let's just send some into the furnace. Uh, we're gonna need lots of this, so uh, hopefully that will be sufficient. The eleven that we got going in there, because we need <laughs> we need a lot of this. Uh, six. Oh, it does make four, so it's almost one. Okay, so we need to automate the pop chorus fruit getting fed into a mechanical squeezer. And I guess we need another mechanical drying basin uh, to feed the liquid chorus into that as well. But now that the, uh, the mineral is automated, we should be able to make these, uh, another set of these, a lot easier. Um, so let's get the mechanical squeezer again. And the mechanical drying basin. So we need four of those. Oh, we're going to need another drying basin. Mechanical. Oops, I forgot. I didn't get the squeezer. There we go. Uh, so We'll need the same setup. It's an importer. Uh, oops, I need two of those. Um, I forgot to put energy to those. I bet they stop working. check it out because I just remembered that. Will you guys stop working? No, they're still going. 
Oh no, it's not. It just it just looks like it is right there. No, I stopped. It's out of power. No power for you. Um, I really don't want to see the power. Um, but I already got stuff behind it. What I could do is just this will look ugly. Other than put uh, a, an enter gate on it directly, it's not getting power. It, it won't take power through. Yeah, this one's got power now. Why you don't got power? Oh, because none of this stuff has power now. go directly down. There. And put you there. I'm probably going to need to leave that out. Actually, I could do this. And that. I can still get through over here. Okay, that's good. So this should be working again. I may need to get uh, some upgrades on that importer in the back. On the bottom, sorry. Um, let's do that real quick. Uh, Claude, while we're at it, one for you. Actually, let's just go ahead and grab another one. And then um, six of these. Sorry. Um, no, I want the. I'm going to have to break this. goodness okay <laughs> it did not want to work all right yeah having it on the bottom is kind of a pain uh, but that should help out a lot more yeah there we go so we need to duplicate this somewhere else in here um, you know what? I don't think we're going to need this anymore. I could just, uh... I could take this part down. And throw these books 
this in there. And I'm going to put you in there too. And you. And you. Awesome. You know what? I can also. better <laughs> anyway I can still see it on the side over there but that's okay we can use this cable to power two things so we want the squeezer and then the drying basin um, So put the cable down there. If I go ahead and do this while I'm down here, uh, let's get the speed upgrades. No, oh. upgrades. Upgrades. Uh, two of them. Tell it to push, and then it should start making crystallized cores there too. Nice, 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 nice. I love it when a plan comes together. So now we gotta get the energy back to it. as it can and uh, it's backing up why is it not coming out oh <laughs> I uh, didn't hook it up there we go Troubleshooting for the win. <laughs> now we should see a slight increase in speed. <laughs> there we go. And 
got? I've got all kinds of good stuff coming in now. Uh -oh. Let's check it. Uh, crystal, crystallized. Uh, there's our mineral chunks, and there's our porous chunks getting crystallized. All right, so now we can probably make some of these things. Um, the logic director, we can probably safely go ahead and make this recipe um, and tell it to keep 1500. Uh, let's do that real quick. because uh, I know I'm going to do that anyway. Uh, so let's do it. Let's do it. Awesome. Throw you in there. Oh, I'm going to need another netherite crafter. Um, can't believe that. Okay, so, oh no, I'm missing some ingredients. got the refined obsidian done. Wow, that's pretty cool. I was expecting it to take longer, but... So it's not the refined obsidian. Uh, but I want to put the logic director in there. I need to make one. Let's do this. We'll put this in here. Oh, look, it's gone now. That error is gone. All right, so now, um, logic director. Oh, look, it's got 36 made already. <laughs> the only bad thing is, uh, until it gets to 1500, it's going to start using up all the, um, all the stuff. But, as long as, um, hopefully we'll have enough. If not, I can, I can actually, yeah, let's, let's take that out until we, uh, get done with what we want, which is to make, oh, we got that, we got that, we need to make this um, player simulator so I can see if that will harvest the, uh, the dense construction blocks. So we're going to need item importer, oh what is this? What is this item interface? Oh, we already have some of those. Okay. So item importer. So we need this input variable transformer. Oh, what? Variable card. Yeah, we can do that. Um, do we have a sticky piston? I 
guess so. I guess so. Item importer. Awesome. Okay. And now we make a world item importer. There's one of them. <laughs> now we need item exporter, which takes another. Transformer. What? But I made it. Oh, I made the piston. All right, now we can do that. Item logistics. Exporter. And then bada bing bada boom. And a world block importer. Another diamond pickaxe. Oh, we need this. There we have it, World Block Importer, and we can make the Player Simulator. <laughs> that was intense. Uh, let's go ahead and put this stuff in here, because um, I will play around with this and see if I can figure it out in between episodes. I know I've been going on for a while now, so uh, go ahead and end the episode here, and we'll uh, probably talk about how I can automate, or how I figured out how to automate <laughs> with this um, next time. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.